back to the channel. In today's video, guys, we're going to be painting a classic Mark II Escort Mexico. This one's for another YouTuber. It's for Grant of Salvage Flippers. This is his own car. I'll pan around now and show you the image that we're going to be working from. So it's that one on the screen there, guys. I'll show you what I've done already. <clears throat> How I got this image across, I've got a background. This is a piece of thrift artwork that I've picked up. So we've got a background theme on this already. I've used transfer paper, put a piece of transfer paper down, and then I projected that image up and then lightly penciled round the image, all the details, and then we cut the inside piece out. So we took the whole of the car out I left the pieces of the glass where the glass is on the car, left that bit of mask in so that when that gets pulled off, you'll see the background color where the glass would be. So that would be the blue on the picture there. Then bits will be the background that's on this background here. So I've just got the internals of the car. So that's just complete blank. We're gonna go in now with some white base coat and I'm just gonna base coat up this internal image here. You'll see this in the next time lapse. I'll talk you through the time lapses on how I do this Mark II Escort. So yeah, stay tuned guys, and I'll see you in the time lapse. Forever is the strangest thing. It's shorter than you think. through what I've done in them time lapses. I got the piece that goes on the inside of the car, which is all the detail bits. I pulled that to one side and I chopped out all the pieces, like the bumpers, the indicators, the front number plate, headlights, wing mirror bit, the wheels are off. And then I placed it back in and I'm just starting to put the pieces back in and then where the ones where we need the black, I'm pulling them bumper pieces out, spraying the black, and just pulling the pieces out where I need to put the colours in. So all this piece here would be white, because that's the car. These are black pin lines, so we can do them after, these sort of pieces. We've got the wheels, we've got the tyres, which are going to go black, we've got the alloys, and this part of the inner arch, so that piece can come out. Put the wheel in, drop that jet black, and you're just basically looking at your image and putting the little jigsaw pieces, putting them in, taking them out, putting the pieces in, taking them out, spraying a bit, putting it back, and using them pieces on and off as shields as you go along. The reason why I'm doing it this way is because when you look at a car, it's very, very, lots of sharp lines. There's nothing, you'll get your soft lines on your transitions between your bonnet edges where lights coming across and your shading, but everything else is very, very sharp. So that's why I'm using these cutout masks. You just put them on and off, and you'll get your real sharp edges when you spray up against them. And you can just start, and just start to put the headlights in, and just drop in the highlights in. I'll mask over these headlights in a minute, and then we can pull this grill piece out. In fact, that can come out now. So you take this piece out, you'd leave them pieces in, that need to stay in, like that. Because then pieces on the image are white. 
but they've got black lines coming through them on the grill so you can leave the white behind which is that and just mask over them the rest of this will mask over the lights the rest of that grill is jet black but these parts are white and they're just as you would see as the light catches it these are the darks and then you get your different breakthroughs of the white so you're just following your reference and use it as a jigsaw put your pieces on take your pieces off so that's where we are i'll drop the details in on this indicator we've got that one to put in then i'll drop the number plate in this piece here is like a full white along here i'm going to trace over this in tracing paper to get this real small logo down and then what i'll do is i'll just scribble on the back of pencil with tracing paper line it up draw over the top and then you'll get that logo onto the white behind this bit of masking that's how you drop that bit down so we'll move on i'll do a bit more and then i'll talk you through the next stage guys time to see me put the number plate in we cut all them individual letters and numbers out put the mask back on and then spray white pull the mask off and just drop the little bits of highlight where they are on the image on the picture we put the inside the arches in with the black then I cut the wheels out place them on and then just started dropping the wheels in so they're in now all the front grills in indicators are in we're going to start on the interior pieces now we've got these pieces here which is the glass of the side window the back window that part of the back window there and this side window they'll stay on and then we'll get all this interior this will be like darks so i think there's a bit of chopping out here to do so we can remove this top part of the screen and the pillars then we can get that in and then we've got the lines on the bonnet to put in up the wing there we've got the pin lines to go in and then there's a bit of shading around this front 
grill edge to where the bonnet is because that just slightly curves down in the front. We've got the pen lines here. Uh, we've got a bit of, bit of shading on this front balance where this scallops in. We'll have a darker line through here. Then we've got the Mexico logo to go on and we're about done. So I'll stick you on with the time lapse and you'll just see me working around this piece at the top. Drop the black in on the interior. That's the pillar going up there, so that's a little fade going in there. And now we've removed the pieces where the glass was. So that's showing the background, what's behind this. We're gonna move on now. We've got these lines, the swage lines and pieces to put in here. We've got the bottom of the balance to drop in. And then we've got all the pin lines to go around the arches and up the back there. And a very faint, bottom of the door just to separate the sill to the bottom of the door there and then we can demask this and then I can start doing some drop shadows under the car where they would be and we're about done guys so I'll stick on another time lapse and we'll just start working through these bits getting them bits done.
finished picture, the classic Mark II Escort Mexico. It's a beach scene behind this and I thought this would go really well with this because you've got the blue as you add in the original photo that's going through the windows there. You've got all the palm trees on the back. I've just dusted up a little bit of white where the tyres are as this is a beach part. I've got all the highlights in now, all the registration plates all got the highlights in. I've signed it there and I've just put the frame mount round. This is going in a glass mounted frame and it's all brushed steel aluminium frame on this so you've got a nice deep dark grey brushed steel frame. So that's the finished piece guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you lot in the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Thank <laughs> you.